So we have a logic here. Um, so we have three if statements. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit so you guys can see the whole function. I want to debug this a little bit just to make sure that you know everything is taking the appropriate route so that I make sure that the logic is working properly. We have three if statements. So just to be sure at least one time, just check this out to make sure it's working properly. So I'm gonna go back to the browser and I'm gonna right click and do inspect. And I want to go to source because I want to see the actual file and debug them. So if you don't see the TS file, like whenever you go to source, you can go to Webpack. And I'm going to collapse this and then go to this dat folder and then go into the source. You can see this is the folder of the app and then go into app and then go into the employee well app component.ts. And then now I'm going to collapse this. So you can see now we have access to the code that we just written. So I'm going to put a breakpoint here by just clicking on that line number 33. And then I'm going to click to make sure that it's taking the appropriate logic route um, whenever I click on whatever button. So if I click on add, it should go into this logic and then run this two lines at the bottom 47, 48. So if I click on add, it comes here, it stops at the breakpoint. So I'm going to click on this arrow to step over. So I'm going to go one, two, Okay, keep going. So it's gonna come here. So now I want to see what's in the button so you can see all of those attributes. So if I hover over it and scroll down a little bit and you can see here all the information on the button and scroll down a little bit more. You can see the outer HTML for the button. So you can see here we have a button of type button and the data toggle is modal and the style is display none. Okay, so our button is looking good. So now after this line, um, we should see the data target. So if I step over, so it goes into this if statement on line 39, because the mode is add and we can over over mode, we can see the mode is add coming from the template. So it's gonna go over again. And then this is gonna be false. So you won't do this line on line 42. You won't do line 45. Skip it. And now it's going to add this into the container, which is, you can see when I over it, it's the entire page. So I'm just adding this button anywhere on that page. So I'm going to click. So now the button is in, in here somewhere because I added it to the template, which is the main container or the main div of the application. And then now I'm just going to click that button. So if I finish this, you can see this comes up. I can close it and then click on edit. It's going to stop here again. So this time it should go into line 42. So I'm going to skip this because we already know what's going to happen. So it's going to come on line 38. It's supposed to skip it because the mode should be edit. See, skips it. You go into 42 and add the data target and then go down here. So at this point, we can look at the button again and scroll down. We can see all of the attributes that we added. So here's the there's the type again, it's going to be somewhere at the bottom. So here's the button. So button type, button, data toggle modal, and then the target is the update employee. So you can see everything looks good. Okay, and you can see the type again here. So I can finish this again. And you can see the edit employee modal comes up and it's going to be the same for the delete steps here, go over those lines, it's going to skip 38 because it's supposed to be delete. Skip this one as well because it's delayed. It's going to come in and it's going to execute line 45. Okay. And then it's going to finish as you can see here. So everything is working as expected. At least this is like one form of test, I guess, but this is not formal test that you would do for an application. You would probably have some automated tests and then use some fancy library to run in the browser and then click all the buttons for you. But I just wanted to show you that this is actually working and that our logic is good. So I'll see you guys in the next one.